Boy oh boy, I told you guys, a leopard can't change its spots and Evil Corp Broadcom can't not be evil. Broadcom is now sending cease and desist letters to legacy perpetual license holders who have been accessing the publicly available update servers for VMware products. Let's talk about it. Hey there, home lovers, self-hosters, IT pros, and engineers. Rich here, you remember like, what, two videos ago when I talked about how VMware ESXi was once again freely available to use? It kind of feels like a decade ago, I know. At the time, I said this. I won't mince any words here. I don't trust for an instant they won't pull the rug out from under this if it serves a purpose for them. Secondly, as a previous customer, I don't think this marks a change in Broadcom's well-published approach of squeezing the top 500 customers for more cash and abandoning practically everyone else. And here we are again talking about the shady bullshit Broadcom is pulling. Weeks ago on Reddit, there were rumblings about cease and desist letters being sent from Broadcom to legacy unlicensed VMware customers who'd accessed said freely available updates for their legacy legacy VMware products. We now have an actual image of that letter posted by user Capius on Reddit. The summary of the letter is that Broadcom is notifying customers that their rights to receive support services for specific perpetual VMware software licenses has expired and unless new subscription-based support agreements are made, Broadcom is demanding they immediately stop updating their software and remove any non-critical CVE patches they've applied or be under threat of being sued for material breach of their previous agreement. They are also mandating that the customers report back to Broadcom that they have successfully removed any non-exception updates or they will be at risk of being audited by VMware or further sued. Check down in the description for a link to the image. In summary, what Broadcom is saying here is this. One, if you've installed any patches that were not security patches in response to a CVE of 9.0 or greater after January 18th, 2025, Broadcom believes it has the right to come after you for breaching your perpetual contract no longer in effect since you're not a customer anymore. I'm not a lawyer here, I don't play one on YouTube, and I didn't stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night, but this doesn't feel right. Someone watching this tag Legal Eagle, I'd love to see what he has to say. Two, if you don't uninstall said updates and prove to them you did it, they're threatening to come after you. I'd really, really like to know how Broadcom is able to tie update downloads to specific X customer stacks. That feels sus AF to me, and I want to know more. Just when you didn't think Evil Corp could get any more evil, here we are. Is it actually possible that Broadcom could have out oracle Oracle? You be the judge. So here's the takeaway. Friends, you go take this letter, you march right into your boss's office, and you show them this. Any level-headed IT manager or IT director can quickly grip the situation here and the potential risk to your organization if you're still writing out your legacy perpetual VMware licensing. Actually, even if your company did end up relicensing VMware, show them anyway. This is the kind of shot across the bow that all businesses using VMware need to be aware of. This behavior is yet another indicator of the lows of which Broadcom will go to to either strong arm customers into or away from their products. Need I remind you that those updates were publicly available. They weren't behind a paywall or downloaded and torrented. Yes, yes, I know Broadcom is pulling their updates behind the Broadcom portal to block off access to them, which puts an end to people getting free access to updates. But that being said, throwing legal threats to people ahead of that just feels like an insult to injury, doesn't it? We live in interesting times, friends, so be safe, protect yourself and your business, and I genuinely hope I don't have to make yet another one of these videos in another few weeks. One final thing, Tom Lawrence is the one who broke the story to me and deserves all the credit for amplifying this. I'll leave a link in the description to his video and make sure it's also in the video's end screens as well. And that, friends, will do it for this quick video. If you liked it, throw us a sub and a like. And if you have a beef with anything I've said here, let me know in the comments below. Special thank you to YouTube members. You guys help keep the lights on, and we thank you for it. If you'd like to help support the channel, consider becoming a member or buying some of our swag. It'll help us keep making these videos. And now that you've finished watching this video, how about checking out our Life After VMware playlist over here? Thanks for watching.